Hey guys, today I'm going to explain why Fox News is our best ally. Fox News, their direct competitor, of course, would be MSNBC. The more money MSNBC makes, the less money Fox News makes. And this is something I see every single day. And it's not just news, it's billboards, it's competition, right? So Fox News directly competes with MSNBC News. Now, when I buy ads, MSNBC is asking me to pay more and more money as I do my yearly marketing budgets for my clients right now. And the amount of money they want has increased every single contract. So we sign six month to one year contracts, typically a one year contract, but sometimes it's, you know, a client wants to try it out first, if you will, and that will be four month contract. But my goodness, is it now very expensive to be on MSNBC. Now, the rationale for that is we have better ratings, we have more viewers, we have more impressions, and so, and then that will hopefully correlate to you doing more sales. I am 100% going to tell you uh, something that you probably, I don't know if many marketers will tell you this. Uh, when you are buying ads, uh, all the comp scores and all of these things, it's out of 100, right? So they over deliver, under deliver, they over deliver great, they under deliver, well, I want an extra spot for next month or I want an extra 10, 50 spots for next month. As an advertiser, it is much better for me not have to advertise on MSNBC or Fox News political things, right? Because that might be charged, that might not be on brand. Uh, some brands may want to avoid political advertisement. But when MSNBC is surging in ratings, I don't have a choice but to advertise on MSNBC. So in my personal interest, I need someone like Andrew Yang who's more of a moderate. And then I can spend my advertising money not on cable TV, but on digital, which is my preference. So I do have a bias, and I do have a horse in this race, and that's because I control lots and lots of advertising accounts. Um, our marketing budget per client is over a million because it's over a year, so it's actually not that much. And times it by X clients, I'm not going to tell you what that number is, but uh, you can imagine I'm spending a lot of money and... It's on me, right? So if I if things don't work out because we spend a lot of money on M MSNBC because quote, quote the numbers look good, then guess who gets uh, yelled at and guess who the blame falls? Duh, me. I'm your marketing director. That's what you hired me to do. So of course it's my fault. I made up the plan. So I have a much higher risk table here. And I can't really avoid the risk because my clients want to do cable because the ratings are so good on MSNBC. So I'm forced in this scenario where I have to pay MSNBC whatever they want because my client thinks it's a good investment, which, I mean, we can argue over, but at the end of the day, my client is a client, right? So I need Andrew Yang to be president because it would really help my business um, in terms of the money. So it's not going to help me get new business. Uh, at least I, I don't really need new business, but it will help me keep the business I have because I can make wiser investments like digital online, which now I can push. I cannot push that. The ratings are just too good in MSNBC to be pushing digital at this point in time. My clients are not going to take it. They're going to look at the numbers and say, let's go with more MSNBC, even if it's not brand oriented, even if the brand is not exactly a one-to-one -one match. So Andrew Yang, I'm trying to get donations from him. I'm really, really trying. I'm trying to convince my friends and he has an easy story to sell. Fox News people, people who watch Fox News or MSNBC business, they are entrepreneurs, or they, they're entrepreneurs, as Mark Cuban would want to uh, say. And when they look at Andrew Yang, he is a successful entrepreneur. And that's a good story to tell. And that's why Donald Trump's story was so appealing, right? Yes, his dad loaned him a million dollars, but look at, and yes, his casino failed, and yes, his university was a scam, and yes, his stakes things, they make it, like Donald Trump stakes, like literally, like at that point, what are you not going to put your name behind? Yes, he has lots of golf courses all over. And... But Donald is a very 
simply put, he is a marketing machine for Donald. He's not a Republican. He's not a Democrat. I would just imagine that he's an independent, very similar to how I view Andrew Yang. He's a businessman who is an entrepreneur who will help our country by helping small business. And he recognizes things that other candidates don't. And he has, he has very good ideas, but he's got to be stronger on saying that this is my idea. Don't steal from me. Don't steal from me. Don't steal from me. Fox News can allow him that platform. And what people don't realize is Republicans, because they don't, we don't have our own primaries right now, we can register for the Democratic primaries. There's nothing illegal about, you know, being a Republican who registered for a Democratic primary. It happens all the time. Now, how do you motivate these people to do that? Because at that point, you know, they're not registered. They have to do jump over more hoops. Uh, you, you tell them a good story. Uh, everyone loves a good story. I know this because uh, my LinkedIn profile is just me telling them my daily story about my life, basically, and my employees and their lives and my cat, company cat, company dog, and so on. Fox News can give Andrew Yang the platform he needs because just like their demographic is the same as my demographic. And I can tell you my friends are very interested in learning about another entrepreneur because entrepreneurs like reading entrepreneur stories. Like It, it makes sense, right? Because every struggle is different. Every um, story is uh, interesting because it's how you made it. Alibaba, uh, Jack Ma story is not the same as Steve Jobs and not the same as Bill Gates, not the same as Steve Ballmer's, not the same as jo Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos. But all, all these people can appreciate uh, Jack Dorsey from Twitter. At some point in time, your small business was just an idea. It was just a concept. You got together some people who were underpaid, overworked, that believed in this idea, or they believed in you. Uh, for Alibaba, Jack Ma had his secretary, who's now like $400 million richer, and he gave her equity instead of paying her. So whenever you give equity to someone, like Jeff Bezos gave equity to his early employees because he knew that he couldn't pay them as much or the job was not as stable, you're taking a risk. And that's the story Andrew Yang can say. Andrew Yang is a very interesting storyteller. Uh, he's very good at it. He just needs the platform. Now, MSNBC will never give him the platform. They literally will not call on him, even with his hand raised for uh, 32 minutes without a question. And I was raising my hand trying to get a word in edgewise during this that time. So it's probably very apparent to him now that MSNBC is not that platform that can give him the ability to talk to the American people and say, hey, you know what? I'm a small business owner. This is how I built my business. This is how we grew it. This is how we sold it. And this is the things I learned along the way. Very fascinating story to anyone watching Fox News because even if a Fox News viewer is not a business person, they like business. Um, by definition, they are watching Fox News business. I mean, they have a business thing, MSNBC business, because they're interested in either starting a business. So what I found among my friends is I get questions all the time from people who bullied me in high school about how to start a business. And it's like, whoa, who are you? Like, get out of here. And people are so fascinated by my story, right? which is on YouTube, if you want to listen to it, it's on this channel, because it's a good story. And the more people hear the story, the more attractive they are to me, and then they would follow me on LinkedIn or somewhere else. Uh, and that's the key. The key is interesting stories that are real, that people like. Today's content is about storytelling. So you need someone to help tell your story, and that person is Fox News. The worst thing for the worst thing MSNBC can do to Andrew Yang is to ignore him, right? Because then there's no discussion. A lot of you are, I mean, MSNBC has fake apologized before, where, oh, Andrew, we're so sorry, John Yang, we're so sorry we left you off the graphic. 
we'll put you back in. But by that time that he's put in the graphic, the news channel that the news show that ran the graphic is not going to rerun a graphic again. Everyone already saw the graphic and they're like, oh, I guess Andrew Yang dropped out. There's got to be reason he's not here, right? And then only later do people, Andrew Yang fans on Twitter, start making a big ruckus. But what they don't understand is it's done. Like when you raise your hand and you're not called on and you're not asserting yourself during the debate, you can complain about the debate after, but everyone who watched the debate has a different opinion. I mean, right? Like, no, you need to talk. It's kind of like in college or in high school. You know the answer to a question and you keep raising your hand and the teacher never calls on you. You go to the cafeteria and then you tell everyone, hey guys, uh, I need to answer to that. No one blanking cares. You, right? You're the class, you're out of the classroom now. That's the analogy I want to use. And people use this as like, oh, he's winning. He's winning. It's like, no, we're out of the classroom and we didn't get called on and we didn't show people how intelligent we were. So what's the point of telling them like now in the cafeteria? The time to take action has already passed. The time to show the graphic to people who may not know who Andrew Yang is has passed. Just because you apologize on a tweet does not mean the people watching the show, which is a lot more than the people looking at the tweet, knew about, you know, knew about Andrew Yang was missing, right? Especially if you're a candidate and there's a lot of other candidates and it's a very crowded field, just having your face on the graphic, people might be like, oh, who is this Asian guy? So yes, I, I think you, we spend way too much time you know, attacking and apologize, but we gotta, we gotta have a path to victory. I don't see how complaining about MSNBC when we all knew MSNBC was what it was, would help us. The path to victory is Fox News. Hi guys.